Good afternoon, everyone. This is Beth from Art by Bedell, and I have some progress that I have made on the Snowflake Journal, and I thought I'd show you what I've been doing today. So to start with, I made some, some ruffles out of the fabric that I'm going to be using for the cover of the journal, and it's a snowflake pattern on, let me show you, fabric. So here it is. This is what our cover is going to be with some snowflakes, obviously. So we'll put that aside and I have some nice ruffle now that I can use in the journal for some embellishment. In my, on my journal pages, I have gone around all of my pages and inked them up. So that's, that's done. Then I have taken my coffee stained copy papers and I have put on my journaling lines and then I took my stencils with my two ink pads and the ink pads again that I am using for this project are Distress Oxide, Flamingo and Salty Ocean. And I applied the ink with these brushes. If you guys haven't used these brushes yet, they're like a makeup brush. I don't know how well the makeup brush would do as opposed to the ones that are actually created for this. But they're wonderful. I was I could zip right through these the stenciling here really fast. And the stencils again that I'm using are the Dreamweaver stencils. One is let's see the numbers LL39A and LL399. Those are the two Snowflake Express stencils that I'm using. So I added stencils and lines to my copy papers. Now, I not only did it to them, but I did it to other papers that had like a blank side. So the digitals that I have, the inside of them, I didn't print a design on the back of them, but I stamped with my line stamp and put some um, snowflakes on the, those also. So let's see, what else have I done? This is last week's, the other day's project. And I think that's what I've done in on the journal pages so far. Um, oh, I added some dots to here because previously I had only added this this branch border, but I added the the dots with some embossing, some embossing paste, some yeah modeling paste. So that's what has been done so far. Now, I, for my project today, I'm going to make it on a piece of ledger paper. I was gifted five ledger books. Can you believe that? My dear sweet sister-in-law had them in her garage um, left over from years ago from when she used to do bookkeeping. And they're awesome. They're just awesome. So there was like, uh, I think three small ones and two big ones or the other way around. But I have ledger papers now for forever probably. I don't know. So anyhow, for this page, I have some of this pink fine art paper that Remember, I had put some stencils on with snowflakes, and I want to glue that down there. So I'm going to take my art glitter glue, and I'm going to do this side that's going to be tucked underneath that flap of the ledger paper. And then I'm going to do the top and the bottom, just because I don't know if I want a pocket here or not. And so since I don't know, I'll leave it open. And then I'll just glue that down just like that. Simple so far, right? Now let's take this flap and let's glue this down. And we'll just go down this side and the other two sides and that will be sufficient. There we go. Now to make this element, and this element is not my own. I'm trying to think, Pam from Paper Outpost. I believe it was her, her design. So you take a square of paper, has to be a square in order to work. And this is a five inch square and you fold it diagonally from corner to corner as exact as you can. So you have this and then you open this up and you fold the, the left, the right hand edge just past the line the, that we folded diagonally. Just past, maybe by a quarter of an inch, a half an inch tops and let's see. And then we'll take the left one and then we'll go right past that by the same amount. And hopefully when you've done that, I'm just gonna fold this up to measure. You will have 
Mm. I have more at the top than at the bottom, so let me adjust this a little bit on both sides. See how we turn out here now. A little bit more on this top. Okay, that's close enough. That's how you make these little pockets. So I have my pocket that's made out of stained coffee, stained with coffee. It's a piece of graph paper. And I have taken some cardstock, pink cardstock, and cut out some circles. These circles, you can cut out whatever size circles you want to do this. <clears throat> you just need to have two different sizes. This one is two and a half, and then the next one down was two. So it's a half inch difference in it. But I cut out some circles from my card stick. You can do it with your Cricut, you can do it with paper punch, you can do it with your Caluso knife, whatever you have, or you can just take and draw a circle with a template or whatever and then cut it out with scissors. Just cut some circles with two different sizes. So I cut a pink one and then I used, uh, this is what I'm talking about when I say I used a bank um, check stub. This is the stub. In a business envelope, if you don't know, or a business checkbook, you have three checks coming off and you have a page of them. Used to be that way. Anyhow, now we don't do checks anymore. But I have this check stub. I have a bunch of them also gifted to me from my dear sweet sister-in-law, Nancy. And um, I have cut out some circles from that. Now, in order to make this really cute, I have a piece of cheesecloth. I'm gonna lay that on here. And a piece of lace. The lace is not snowflake lace, but it looks like it. It gives the appearance of a snowflake. So I'm gonna put that there, and then I'm gonna put this here. So I'm gonna glue this down all the way around with my art glitter glue. Just like that. And like this. And then add some more glue to the back of it. Kind of tricky with the cheesecloth. It just wants to move around on us. I can just dot some on there like that. And layer that up just like that. Then I have, from my digital, it had some ephemera pieces. I will get the name of this digital for you. I know I said in the last video that I would, and I haven't done it yet, but I'll get it for you. And I have cut out the snowflake. What they are, they're little circles that come with the kit. And I have decided to cut the image out because it's the perfect size here. If I use the circle, I wouldn't be able to see my my check stub. And, and that's kind of like an important part of my focus here. So, and I will put that down there like that. with my art glitter glue again. And just put this on here like this. Now I am going to take and I'm going to glue across the center of my circle like this. I'm just gonna put a little bit like this and that's gonna hold this all down. I don't wanna glue above it and I don't wanna glue below it because I'm using this as a pocket. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna close it up. So there I have my cute little pocket. And I'm going to take my pocket and we do have a pocket here too. Oops, there we go. I am going to just glue this right down. So I'll probably just go around the outer edges of it like this. That's just enough glue to hold this in place. There we go. And put that right on the edge, like this. What a cute little pocket. Now I want a tag for in here. So I have cut a piece of cardstock that measures two and three quarters by seven. And I have used some blue cardstock and I have gessoed on the one side for journaling. So on that, I want to add some of my line stamps. and put it on the tag like this. 
And now we have lines on our tag. And I have already edged up the edge of this with my Distress Oxide Vintage Photo Ink is what I'm using for this. So we have that. Now on this side, I have chosen some of the, remember the dictionary paper that already had some pink on it from another project. I tore a piece of that off. Let me see if I can find the full piece. Here we go. This was the full piece that we had done and I had put my snowflake stencils on and rubbed on it with the um, silver leafing rub and buff. I wanna glue that down first and I will just use, I could get away with the glue stick here. I'll just get my glue on there. I'm afraid this glue stick is done. Let's just go with our glitter glue here and just get it mostly around the edges. We don't want the edges to come up. And then I'll put a little bit on the inside too. And then this is going to go on the right hand side. And then for another layer, I have a piece of this paper right here left because I had to cut it, trim it off because it was too wide. So I've inked that up also, and I wanna put that like right here. I'll use my glitter glue for that and get the edges of this paper, all four edges. And bring that down to about here. Papers stick over the edge of the tag a little bit and that's okay. No problem there, we have extra room in our pocket for it. Now for a focal point, I have, this is out of the kit, out of the digital kit, and I wanna put that like right in here, and I wanna glue that down. It has a cute little bird on it. So we will put some glue on this. And again, I have already inked up around the edges of this. And then just glue that down right there. So our snowflakes are peeking through on the top and on the bottom. Now, I want to add a little something to this, but I'm not so sure that this time I want to go with a page tab. So I have some brads. And guess what? They're snowflake brads. Now I cannot find my little pokey thing to add my holes. I'll use this. So I have these brads. And they're silver, which is awesome. And it's a snowflake bread. And I'm gonna use one of them. And I'm going to poke a hole. And I should have done this before I glued my tag down. It's too late. No, it's not too late. So let's get that hole poked in there. Let's get the brad put on. And push these tabs back. And put some more glue on that. Maybe a little extra glue right around our prongy things for our tag, our, or our brad. There, there we go. Now it's not on the back. Now I will take this over to the sewing machine and I'll sew all the way around that and I shall be right back. There we go. And I don't think I mentioned, but I'm using white thread for this project. There is our tag journal on the back. It's blue, so it offsets our pink that we've already added and it will get tucked right down inside our pocket just like that. Now, if there's a chance that it falls through, we can take this brad and pull it up just a little and then slide it down so that it rests right on top of that circle, just like that, and then it won't fall through. So that's kind of cute also. There is a very simple page in our journal. We can chalk up one more page being done. So I hope you enjoyed that project. I hope that you will find that it was very easy to do and that you might even make one of your own for your journal. Thank you for watching and I will have a playlist down below so you can keep track of anything in case you may have missed a video or two. Oh, this pocket here, I will probably, let me just do that real quick. I have a piece of um, coffee stained copy paper that I will just fold in half and then in quarters, and then I will just tuck it inside here so that it can be some more journaling space, just like that. I will go around the outside edge of this off camera and, and edge up the edges with the vintage photo ink, but that will be in there. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and we shall see you again soon for our next page in our journal. Bye now.